Hey nerds, Aaron here with a trailer review for The Amazing Spider-Man 2. As you may know, the trailer came out today. Um, mixed feelings about it. Let me first start by saying I really liked the first Amazing Spider-Man. I thought it was a really well done movie. I think they captured the essence in the comedy of Peter Parker and definitely made a grittier, darker Spider-Man than the Tobey Maguire one. I liked the Tobey Maguire one, but this was something different and I was happy that they're going in a new direction. That said, the trailer for this one, there's a few things that give me a little bit of iffiness about. First one being uh, Harry Osborn, played by Dane DeHaan in this movie. It seems like he's never friends with Peter Parker, which is a huge part of Harry Osborn's character. So, I mean, I understand you can definitely go out off the gamut and make them never friends. And, uh... But it's like they're starting with Harry being evil, and it's really confusing for me. Uh, also, it also seems like there's never going to be a Norman Osborn Green Goblin. They're going to go straight to Harry being the Green Goblin. Which, yet again, really weird. But if they pull it off, and I look at it as just a movie and not part of the Spider-Man gamut, maybe I'll be alright. Another thing that I'm a little iffy about... Is uh in the trailer they show the rhino gearing up in this uh robot suit, which I'm like, oh, because right away I thought uh the Wolverine movie from this uh summer and uh spoilers if you didn't see it already just skip this, but um the way they did the Silver Samurai that where they just put the the guy in this giant samurai robot suit and it just didn't work for me it, it took all the fun away from it it took the power away from the character and i hope the rhino is cool i mean maybe it's really cool robot i'm not big into the armor suits so we'll, we'll see things that i am excited for is that uh they are continuing the story of peter looking for more information on his father's death and disappearance and what work was uh richard parker doing for oscorp looks really cool um but, I mean, other than that, the special effects look cool. The cinematography is definitely on par with the first it looks. And uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see.